Well, the Consumer Electronics Show is often the place where great new products are introduced, but it's also the place where some duds are too. To tell us about some of the famous duds, we've got, we got Ian Scher with the Wall Street Journal out in Las Vegas right now, and he comes to us live from there. And there he is. Thank you very much for being there, Ian. Hi. Hey, duds. Duds is always, it's always good to look at duds and we can laugh and think, what were they thinking? Let's go through some of these. Uh, um, well, let's start with the uh, three. What's the interesting, I think, is what's important is that to consider that these are not just duds. These are products that got a lot of attention and then became duds, right? Um, so, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we, that we see on the floor that's just kind of like, what were you thinking? But what's really interesting is that we get some of these that are, you know, people just go gaga over and then... Uh, they release in the market and they do nothing. Oh, well, talking of Gaga, let's talk yeah. about Lady Gaga's Polaroid specs. Yes. So those were basically, um, they, came, they, they showed up uh, about two years ago. And, uh, you know, it was this big thing. You know, Lady Gaga got on stage with Polaroid. You can still find a video if you look for it on the, on the web. And um, essentially, they, um, you know, she had become an artistic director, I believe, or a creative de director, they called her. And um, she helped design these, these glasses that could take photo and video and also replay them um, through the screen that's attached into the, to the specs. They're actually kind of cool um, in a nerdy type of way. Okay. Um, well, these products actually never made it to market. People are still waiting for two years. Um, and and uh, one of the things that's interesting about them and, and why um, I, I added them to this kind of story is that you, you know, we get a lot of stuff that's really kind of cool that you see like this amazing technology um, or stuff that you just might be interested in. And uh, one of the things that uh, a retailer I spoke with, uh, John Abt, who, who runs a, an electronics store in Chicago, he said he comes here, he's been coming here for decades, and he's learned that if, if, if the companies don't have a release date set within the first six months or so after it's been announced, they're probably not going to release it in time. Well, or maybe not at all. That, and, and Polaroid that, just said, we're releasing it sometime that year, right? Okay. Well, they didn't. Palm, so palm, it's that kind palm, of stuff. Tell, tell us about the Palm Pre. Um, right, that, so the, that, the, that the Palm Pre once... was definitely, it, it got a lot of attention. I mean, it came out at a time, it was announced uh, in 2009 during the Consumer Electronics Show. It, it was during a time, uh, you have to remember, I mean, a Apple was, was basically running roughshod over the smartphone industry at the time. Android was just starting to kind of, uh, you know, spin up its wheels. And uh, people really saw it as a real competitor. It was, uh, you know, at the time um, they had uh, not yet, but John Rubenstein eventually became the CEO of that company. And, uh, you know, he had been involved in the original iPod. So people thought, ooh, here you go, Apple versus Apple, right? Um, the product, you know, went into the market. There was a lot of really weird marketing, if you remember. Again, Google it. It's really interesting. And, um, you know, but it, it never really sold well. It didn't really get that much attention in uh, cellular store shelves. It, it, and eventually, um, Hewlett Packard, you'll remember, bought them, uh, tried again with another set of smartphones and a tablet, and then uh, killed it. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it looked really cool. There was a lot of, I mean, a lot of technology reviewers praised it, the quality of the software and the hardware. But here we are, you know, a few years later, and they're not even on store shelves anymore. Wow. It is a harsh world out there. We, we have to leave it there. Um, thank mm -hmm. you very much, Ian Scher, coming to us live from Las Vegas. And you can read more about other duds on WSJ.com in that story.